Hello everybody, welcome to a short tutorial video uh, which I'm doing in response to a few questions that I've received. A lot of people ask the same question, how do I do the audio in my YouTube videos? Uh, so I've answered these questions in, in typing out emails and it always seems to be a complicated way of explaining it when really it's not that straight, it's not anywhere near as complicated as it may sound. Um, so basically, this is Cubase 8, this is the drums, um, I think it's important to say at this point that if I was going to record the band for a YouTube video, I'd pay as much attention and take as much care to the recordings as I would do as if I was recording the band for an album, um, because YouTube is probably as important, maybe even more important than albums. Now, I'm getting more attention on YouTube than I am selling CDs, which is the way of the industry. Um, well, for independent artists, I think, anyway. Uh, irrelevant, okay. So, right, drums, here's the drums. You've got the kick drum, you've got the snare drum, you've got the snare bottom, hi-hat, overhead left, overhead right, tom one, tom two, etc., etc., etc. Bass guitar, hand claps, left hand claps, right, tambourine, harpsichord, hank one, hank two. These four guitars here are all one guitar, but I've split them. One, two, three, four. Split them into four takes. Uh, so I can process them differently, different sounds. And then you have the tremolo telecaster, which is like the thing. Okay, so that's the audio. Now, once that's... Um, once that's finished I'll mix it down I'll export it to a stereo wave file okay and then I'll reopen it in wavelab uh, to master it I won't I don't need to open wavelab now um, because I've got it mastered it's done so what I'm going to do now is I am going to open up um, Sony Vegas video editing software so here is now the project in um, Sony Vegas. And this blue band down here is the uh, the audio file. This is the stereo audio, stereo audio file, which I have just exported out of Cubase. So that should be the highest quality recording production that I'm capable of with the equipment that I've got, okay. Um, and here we have all of the videos from the project, uh, everything that's gone into the project, including like, um, you know, um, titles and uh, and all of that sort of thing. So, respectacles, absolutely. Website, etc. Okay, don't get distracted, Paul. Focus. Um, so here's the videos now. Um, these are all the cut up videos now. Jim's playing to a click. In Cubase, uh, if you look at the video here, he has got headphones on. He's playing to a click, and so when I open the new Sony Vegas video project, I set the uh, I set the ruler one three eight. Okay, that's what the time. That's what the tempo was. That's in the click in Jim's headphones. So now the video software is also at one three eight. So that means that I can edit on the bar. Now you see the bar's running through the middle of that edit, but I've faded across it. That's why that's like that. But for things where in this one I've got things that it actually uh, it actually cuts on the bar, you know, uh, which is quite it's quite humorous in this instance, anyway. So getting back to the point, um, if we look at Jim's drum track, right? Let's open up Jim's drum track. Now, these two files that I've just opened up here, one's the video, one's the audio. Now, this green audio is the audio that came off the camcorder. It will resemble the audio that came out of Cubase somewhat, okay? Um, and so what I do is, is let's have a look at the end of Man of Mystery, okay? Um, if we just go to the end of the song we can see that what is on the camcorder is very similar to what's in Cubase. 
So I line up the video audio to the Cubase audio. Can you see what I mean? So you can see the resemblance between the two. So I don't line up the videos through um, picture. You drive yourself insane. I line it up through uh, the audio. Okay. Now, I'm not going to line this up perfectly because I don't need to. I've already done it. I'm just doing it to show you. You see? The spikes in the Cubase and the spikes in the camcorder microphone, they're picking up the same thing, basically. You see, there's a spike there, there's a spike there, there's a spike there. So, once I know that that audio is in the same place as that audio, I obviously now know that the video is running in sync with the Cubase audio. Video, Cubase audio, camcorder audio. Delete the camcorder audio. You don't need it anymore. You're just, you're just using the Cubase audio. So, all of these video tracks, all of these cameras, have lined up individually one at a time through the audio matching it to the Cubase audio and then I've deleted all the audios from those cameras so now we have the pictures with the high quality audio that's how I do it I hope that is self-explanatory we did have a good laugh that day I must say we have a good laugh every day actually provided the gear works so okay hope that was helpful hope you enjoyed it um, I hope you can um, I hope you can um, use some of these techniques in your videos. More coming soon. Go to my website, paulrose.co.uk. Go and save. And have a look at Man of Mystery. So that's all for now, folks. Thank you very much. Goodbye.